this video, we will be replacing the spark plugs and ignition coils in this 2003 Toyota Camry. Taking a look inside the engine bay, we're going to focus all of our attention on the center most portion of the engine. We have two 10 millimeter nuts that we want to remove off of the engine cover. We then have two hold down clips and with a little bit of force, we can jar those loose by pulling them upwards. And that will give us access to our four ignition coil locations. Each ignition coil has a wiring harness. On the wiring harness, there is a small button that we need to push before we can wiggle that wiring harness off. Next, we have a 10 millimeter bolt holding in each of these ignition coils. And then we can gently work each of those ignition coils out. And at this point, I like to use an air nozzle with a very long nose to get inside the spark plug hole locations. This will help blow out any possible debris so it does not fall into the combustion chamber. And at this point, I will use my spark plug socket, which has a flexible head, this being on a 3 8 inch drive ratchet, and we can work that loose, unscrew it, and remove it. When I pull the plugs out, I lay those out right to left as I pull them out. If I take a look at them, they are pretty oily. Now in a previous video, I have replaced the valve cover gasket, which should hopefully solve this problem of oil oozing onto the spark plugs. According to the repair manual, our spark plug gap should be 0 0.043 inches. And using a spark plug gapping tool, we can make sure that our new spark plugs meet that specification of 0 0.043 inches. We can then add just a little bit of anisees to the threads. And install that in the engine. It is very important that we first start these by hand making sure that we don't feel any unusual resistance. If I pull the socket out, that spark plug should not be connected, yet I'm still able to turn it. We then need to finish up by torquing these to 168 inch pounds. And in this process, we will also be installing new ignition coils. And once again, I'm going to compare my new ignition coil to my old ignition coil, just to make sure that they essentially look the same. And before installing these, we will put a little dielectric grease on that contact point where it will meet the spark plug. And in the engine, we can gently install those and wiggle them down into place. And then we'll add that 10 millimeter bolt to hold that down securely. And I am starting all of these bolts by hand first and then finishing up with a nut driver.
And we can then reconnect our wiring harnesses. And lastly, reinstall our plastic engine cover. And this repair is complete. The spark plugs we removed were actually gapped properly. However, there was a significant amount of carbon deposits on these spark plugs. According to our common spark plug conditions chart, that is a good indication that there is a possible fuel system problem or engine management system problem. It could also indicate some type of ignition problem. As part of this repair procedure, I have also done other repair procedures to mitigate this from happening again.